So today, I received another barrel band because this one didn't quite fit. So the maker, which makes the Terminator slugs, which you should go get your Terminator slugs, sent me out uh, not one. But, uh, two barrel bands. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And on top of that, he sent me his new production. Kill can. Moderator. Yes, sir. Here's the baffles. So to install this, you have to do a few things. Unscrew this. Unscrew this, which this is the Donny FL half UNF plus is a barrel extender. So you're gonna have to take that out to install this because uh, it's three baffles. No, sorry, it's um, one barrel grabber or whatever you call it, and three baffles, and then you screw this on. You screw that on, and it's supposed to make it much, much, much quieter. And we're definitely going to test that out in a bit. I'm going to take out this part. This is just a cap for uh, where you could add Donny FL moderators. You probably add other ones, but I don't have anything but Donny FL. And today, I have the kill can. Can. Slides in beautiful. This Donny FL right here. Catches the barrel, straighten it out. Bop. So, I'm not going to put the, uh, the moderator first. I'm going to take this barrel band out. So, excuse me for a second. So, this part was on really, really snugly, and this part wasn't. So, I put some Bella Star on piece of regular napkin <coughs> clean the barrel off and took this took this band off and I'm about to put one of these one of these on so as you see there if this will ever focus it's 55 millimeter so I already got this nice and grease with the bullet star so I'm just gonna go at it I'm gonna save you the trouble and I'm just gonna try to slide it on so I got the barrel band on there it fit nice and snugly and now I'm about to put on these baffles and this moderator kit. So give me a sec. So according to the instructions, I take some silicone grease, put it around there, slip slip, put it down the shroud until it snaps into place. So you see how that cups like that. So I'm assuming it's gonna cup onto the barrel so I'm going to use this same little rod here from the Donny FL extender tube to slip that on there. Then you put on baffles. One, baffle two, baffle three. Then you add on one or, or the thicker one. 
the skinny one or the thicker one or both depending on how it fits onto your moderator so I'm gonna give that a try so I took some silicone grease and I put it there now I'm gonna slip this down to I feel pop or something but like I said I'm gonna use this as a push rod and this is the downy fall. I don't wanna mess up the threads in there. So now I'm gonna put another baffle. And they're combed so you you got the cone going that way. That's according to the illustration and instructions that were given. Here's baffle number two. Baffle number three. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to put both of the o-rings in there just to save me some hassle Terminator Kill Can and this is threaded for the shroud of this and this is like I think aluminum and this is plastic so obviously you have to have the same elements uh, rubbing against each other so it could be safe but like this is aluminum harder than this plastic you have to be careful not only with cross threading it, but when you do thread it, not to over tighten, because then you could like crush these threads here. So here is my Avenger C5 Avenger with the barrel band and the Terminator kill cam LDC suppressor kit. So y'all tell me if this kill can makes a difference. I'm in the house. I'm shooting in a safe direction. This is a 25 Avenger. Let's see what happens. Ooh. That was it. I like it. So it quiets it down on the muzzle. 
very significant. You still hear the spring in the back. Maybe I had to adjust that a little better or not. Who knows? But man, this barely shot anything. Yep. I love this setup. Thanks, D. Terminators. <laughs>